So, but Harry tends to be forgetful sometimes. Really? <laughs> we only know him 60 years. It's, it's longer than that now. Okay, I'm going to mute your mic, Dave. Okay. Okay, we're going to start in a couple of seconds. I think we have to say hi to Lee Hofberg from Australia. Where is he? Zach West. Zach West, wow. Well, good evening to everyone and good morning to Lee. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He's actually visiting us in the future. Hi, Irene. Can, mm -hmm. can you all see the? Uh, can you all see the graphic? Yep. From the yeah. slideshow. Yeah, I see it. Okay. So I'm what? sharing the screen with it. All right, we're going to get started. Good evening, uh, fellow classmates. Uh, I am Paul Rosenfeld, and I organized this reunion on Zoom tonight. It began a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Dave Oxhandler, who was with us here tonight, was a member of a high school fraternity that we had at Abraham Lincoln High School that most people didn't know about, called New Sigma Fraternity. A number of the guys from this fraternity are still in close contact, and we hold meet uh, monthly Zoom meetings. Hopefully, we'll have a couple of the guys joining us here tonight. And it is one of these Zoom meetings that I brought up the subject, hey guys, how about I do a Zoom reunion for our graduating class from Lincoln? And we talked about it. And uh, it was agreed that it was a good idea. And here we are tonight. So welcome all. Uh, welcome class of 66 and 67. Okay, if you see someone that you like to chat with, use the chat feature of Zoom and send a private message. Microphones will be unmuted after the slide presentation. The chat option is usually located at the bottom of the screen. Now I, I say that because depending on what you're using, uh, whether it's an iPad, an Android phone or a desktop computer, uh, the Zoom app may look differently on your device. Before we get started tonight, I'd like to have a uh, minute of silence for our classmates that are no longer with us. Unfortunately, some of them were taken way too young. Craig Shebby and Rhea Silbert, I know passed away within the first two years after graduating. Karen Levine who's an old friend of mine, uh, died in California a few years ago. The other people other than Ronald Novak, I'm not familiar with, but we have Barbara Diamond, Stan Newberger, Mark Osratcher, Susan Squire, Phil Sloves, Randy Toke, Glenn Fight, Mark Braunstein, Alfred Smith Jr., and Jason Berger. Let's have a moment of silence in memory of our classmates that are no longer with us. Thank you. Okay, uh, I put together a series of slides that's going to try to bring you back to uh, 1963 to 1967 and look at some of the things that we were, were familiar during our days at Lincoln. Okay, first we're going to start off with the music that we grew up with. And these are the top singles for the week ending June uh, 1963, June 29th. Uh, these are all lists from June of the, uh, the years that we attended Lincoln High School. I'm not going to read them. Please do so yourself. Okay, the Beatles arrived for the Ed Sullivan Show February 9th, 1964. I'm sure you all remember it well. Okay. The top 10 for June 27th, 1964. The top 10 for the week ending June 26th, 1965. 
Sorry, just a quick question. No Beatles songs were in the top 10 in those three years? No, no not during the years, this particular week. Now, in the next one, you will see that they are in there. Although we are starting to, if you look, you see that the, uh, you have the Rolling Stones, Hermits Hermits, the Yardbirds, uh, these are British acts. Okay, June 25th, 1966, the week that most of you graduated Abraham Lincoln High School, folks, and the Beatles were number one, paperback writer. In addition to the Beatles, you had the Rolling Stones, the Circle, Dusty Springfield, all of these were uh, British invasion acts. Okay, for those of you who graduated in 1967, I didn't want to leave you out. And in 1967, this is the list of the top 10 for your graduation week. Okay, the headlines for 1966. Can you read this off the screen? I can, because I'm on a desktop. I don't know if you can. Raise your hand if you can read it, please. No problem. Okay, good, then I'm not gonna read it. Uh, this was the year that the three astronauts who were uh, practicing in the Apollo for the trip to the moon you don't want to say? were incinerated, unfortunately. And a uh, sniper in Texas shoots 45 from the tower. That was from the university. That was perhaps, perhaps the first a major mass killing in the United States. And unfortunately, there have been many others that have followed. Look at the prices, folks. Okay, our president was Lyndon Baines Johnson. Humphrey was the vice president. The population of the United States was less than 200 million. Life expectancy was about eight years less than it is today. Okay. Um, the Dow Jones, this is about 34,000 today. It was 950 in 1966, and it went down to 744. Federal spending was $134 billion. Today, I think we probably spend that much in one day. The inflation rate was a 2.7. Unemployment was 4.5. The new house, okay, typically costs about $23,000. Cost of a new car is not here, but uh, I bought a used car in 1967. It was a 65 Pontiac Catalina with 17,000 miles on it, and I paid $1,700 for it. In 2003, I bought a new Buick station wagon for about $3,200. So you can see where the prices were. Postage, postage was five cents for a first class stamp, and ga uh, gasoline was 32 cents a gallon. I think it's important to remember that the cost of the subway in New York was, I think, 10, 15 cents. 15. And it stayed at 15 cents for uh, many, many years. The other thing is, I remember going to Rock House Pizza on Brighton Beach Avenue for their lunch special, getting two slices of pizza and a soda for 25 cents. Well, that was during Pizza Wars. Uh, the other thing that's kind of interesting is when I went to City College, CCNY, it was $37 a semester. Yeah, Brooklyn wow. College was similar. Okay, the movie makers, the top movies, Wild Angels, The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, Paradise Hawaiian Style. Uh, the Academy Award went to uh, Paul Schofield for Man for All Seasons and Elizabeth Taylor for Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Oops, missed one. Sorry. Doesn't want to stay at that one. Oh, here we go. The top shows on TV in 1966, Bonanza, The Red Skelton Hour, The Andy Griffith Show, Lucy, and so on and so forth. I'll give you a couple of seconds to glance at it before I switch. Sports, Super Bowl winners, Green Bay versus Kansas City. Green Bay won 35 to 10. This was Super Bowl number one. The World Series winners were, uh, was Baltimore rather, against the LA Dodgers. They lost 4-0. Okay, 
Hey, notable alumni of ALAX, of Abraham Lincoln High School. Ironically, 15 minutes before we went live, I went through the slides and guess what? These slides were missing, so I very quickly had to recreate them. Okay, take a look at this list, folks. Okay, Marv Albert, Eddie Antar, Paul Berg. I have three pages of this. And Larry Nima. Okay, if you look on this page, you'll see one of the names of one of the guests that's with us tonight. Larry Neighbor is on the list of notable alumni. I think let's give Larry a hand over here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> on this list, by the way, we go from Nobel Prize winners to serial killers. I don't know if you know. <laughs> it is Larry. Abraham Lincoln High School had a Russian immigrant who went on a, a stabbing spree, killed four people and hurt a lot of others a couple of years ago. And he's on the list. We were the best at everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> can, I, can I add somebody else to that list that's not there? Uh, I that? don't know, remember. Do you remember, Ro she was 67. Her name was Robin Mayoni. She's now Robin Gershon. She was the head researcher for 9-11. She's an epidemiologist. Professor Emer Emeritus from Columbia. Now she's at NYU. And she just got another grant for 5.5 million to study COVID. And she's was she has been studying COVID. She's a, the lead researcher for studying COVID now. Um, she's amazing. Thank so, you, Susan. Okay. Okay. Uh, what class were you in on November 22nd, 1963, when JFK was shot? I remember I was in my biology class. I was in my history class. I, I was remember. in Murray, I was in Murray Axelrod's economics class. I think <laughs> I, I was in math. I was in the in gym in the lunchroom. I was in the lunchroom. I was in the lunchroom. I was in the lunchroom. Mr. Haddon's biology class. Well, I was in the history department at that time. I was actually in one of the one of the um, departments, and I watched. It was amazing to see the um, the teachers crying. Uh, I remember sitting in my classroom. A teacher knocks on the door and comes over. My teacher, whose name unfortunately I no longer remember, went over to the door, whispered something to her. She came back into the class, and she broke down and crying. No. Shared with us what what event had just occurred. Okay, what I've done is the landmarks from '66 and '67 cannot be put on here in their entirety. Okay, so I've just taken a ra random page samplings from the yearbooks from '66, and after the '66 photos are shown, we're going to go over to '67. Okay, you, you all remember our illustrious leader, Abraham H. Lass. How do we see these pictures you're looking at? All I see is you, Paul. I see the pictures. Yeah, I got them too. How do I, how do I get that, Paul? What are you watching it on, David? I'm watching you on my on a huge screen on my computer on my desktop. Change the view to the, there's a sharing screen that's on. You should be able to see it. But the share is for you, Paul, not for him. Yeah, it should be on the bottom of your screen, David. Okay. A bit more. It, it'll turn green and then you'll see the screen. Yeah. Okay. I see. I it. All right. Good. But I knew him. He was a cool guy. I don't think I have a hand on the teacher. Bernie Goldhurst, who's in the middle of the screen here, ended up being my chairman uh, when I was a teacher at William E. Grady High School in Brooklyn from okay. 1970. Mr. Friend. Mr. Brent, Mr. Walker, Mr. Is that, is that Zorro? Science <laughs> teacher. Yeah, do you remember when Spicer was the dean? Did anybody remember that? I remember. Spizer. I never I had remember the name. Spizer, I think he became a principal. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> yeah, and I was called uh, into his office, the dean's office, 
They called my mother up, and I'll tell you why. I was wearing jeans to school. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Shonda. What is this? Shonda is right. Don't, don't let Al-Qaeda know that. Shame on you. <laughs> what was I thinking? <laughs> this, this is the chemistry squad. Mrs. Schwartz was the person in charge. Half the people in this photo were members of our fraternity. David Oxhandler is uh, second from the center on the right. Uh, second from the left sitting on the right. The physics squad. Physics squad. Oh, God. Was that Mark Goodman in that last picture? Ooh. Oh, that's this guy. No, not in this one. Mark Goodman will be in one of the photos. He was in the chemistry squad, upper left. I thought, is that you? Which guy? Mark know. Goodman, there, he's right there. Don't see him. Uh, oh, there he is, Mark Goodman. Alan, yeah. I don't know his last name. He doesn't look familiar. What is this? I have a quote from Bernie Goldhirsch to my wife. Quote, why are you hanging around with him? <laughs> We're married 50 years. What did he know? You see that? <laughs> did she ever give a good answer? Sorry, mm -hmm. the fuzzy she, 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 she got all flustered and didn't know what to say. <laughs> Mark she, on the right. She was a Levine and she married a San Filippo. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Mr. Oh, Greenberg. You, I was in Arizona. Yeah, you are. Where? Are you in the, in the middle of the photo? Isn't that you? No. Uh, I'm in that one, too. Let me see. Use it in the society. There's Alan Pollock in the first row with the big ears. Yes. Tell him you'd like your hand now. Yeah. I don't Mark want to get yourself. It's very society. Ivy, is that you? Yeah. I'm um, right second from the left on yes. the second row. Next to That's um, right. Yeah. Talk, what's that? Taco? Tarto? I know. Carlo. Carlo. Oh, Donna, she died. She's no longer with us. <laughs> she was in. I see my picture now. Yeah. What was Acorn? Was that for service? Yeah. There's Jeff Hines, yeah. yeah. Gary Baranowski, Gerald Casmir. This is all outside the school. Michael Bronstein. Michael Bronstein. 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 I don't know how Howie Onick. Howie Onick, yeah. I'm, I'm in that Bronstein. picture. I'm in the second row. I'm next to Leslie Jeff Real. Metz. Jeff Metz. Gary Baranovsky. Henry Herb is the. Michael Mellinger. Henry Herb is the lower yeah. center. Can, Mark, can you in this one too? Can anybody hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Yes. Okay. I okay. can hear you. Thank you. Can anybody hear me, Joel Beer? Yes. yes. Yep. Yeah. Upper right hand yeah. corner. You know. Yeah. That's, That's me. Me. Ah. Larry Neighbor, which one oh, is oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, yes, Larry. I'm right above Little Melvin and I'm right below Howie Onick, standing to the yeah, right of Leslie Real. Mm -hmm. No. Got gotcha. you. Uh, That's me right there. Yep. Oh my gosh. Right, right. Who, Four. Larry, who? Oh, oh, never mind. Go back. Some more staff. This guy was so oh. funny. Huh? It's my guidance counselor, Miss Shames. Mrs. Shames. That's who that is. What oh. happened to Gold Hirsch? Gold Hirsch um, was transferred to William E. Grady High School where he became chairman of the social studies department. And I was appointed to Grady in 1960. And I worked there for three years until New York City mm -hmm. had its budget cuts. Wasn't he an English teacher? Yes, he yes. was. Yes. He went to social studies. English and social studies. Okay, a du dual, okay. Yeah. Am I still muted or can anybody hear me? We hear you. We hear you. Oh, fantastic. You should ask how you can. Larry. Yes. Larry, stop with the food on the Leo. internet already. Oh, Leo. Yes, Leo. Leo, yay. Leo. Oh, Leo. Who ever got to ride in the elevator? 
she was in that. I forgot we had an elevator. <laughs> James, see James. If you go back to Athletica, you can see the leader of the Ivy. Yes. Oh, there's Dee Dee Pomeranz. Yes, Ivy. I'm in the second row there mm -hmm. too. Louise. I'm over on the left next to Paul. What's your name? Um, no regret. Pearl. She Pearl. died. Oh, really? Another one that died. Uh, there are a lot of people. Yeah. Patricia Mangicapri. She couldn't make it tonight. Does anyone remember Linda Tesserero? Yes. <laughs> she passed away. She I did pass in. away. Yes. Oh, she, she, she lived a couple of blocks from me. She here all night. I passed yeah. away. She yeah. died yeah. 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 on East I passed the kidney stone yesterday. Oh, can anybody hear me? Sharon Katz. Yeah. Sharon Ryan. This is Marsha Wall. Yeah. Marsha Wall is there. Marsha Wall. Yeah. Right in the front. She lives in California. She's a big real estate mogul. Oh, what do you mean? She was in the Hamptons. Sharon, what's your last name? I thought she was in, I thought she was in California. Probably the Hamptons. You're right. The Hamptons. Sharon. Uh, you you want? Want? Sharon, what's your last name? Sharon. Briar. Okay, thank Briar you. Briar Cat. Red yeah. glasses. Yes. I was just at lunch with Marsha's sister and a bunch of other people uh, in Florida. She lives. I forgot. His son. Uh, I live in Florida. And my brother, I just moved down. He had several strokes and he has Parkinson's. So he's in an assisted living right now. And it's very hard on me. Oh, wow. Sorry, sorry, sorry to hear that. Hello, oh. Ivy. Can you hear Marty? Can you hear me? Hi, Anita. I hear you, Marty. Hi, okay. how you doing? Good. She punched me in the stomach. You, you look great, Sal. Anybody remember Miles Bonham? Yes. yes. Miles, Unfortunately, yes. Well, Miles is a dentist in Connecticut, but the funny thing was, <clears throat> I was down in Florida, St. Augustine. And I was in a hotel room and I go to hand the keys in and the owner says to me, uh, okay. I'll take those. You. But now you muted know. Martin. Look, when they talk, this comes. Oh, there. I'm back, Martin. Okay. Marty, you just yeah. muted yourself. Unmute yourself, Marty. Hello? Yeah, yeah. Hello. I can hear you now. All right. So what part of the story did I come to you? You went to go to the dentist. You, <laughs> you went to return you the key. Your keys. You went to return right, the key. Right, and it was Neil Bottom, Miles's brother, and there was a whole story on him teaching at two twenty-five, and I think his wife went to jail for trying to kill him. Damn, <laughs> 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 You know they went through a tough divorce. Let's put it that way. I remember him. But he was. Uh, he's down. He owns. Um, I forgot the name of the little hotel. In uh, St. Augustine, but it was nice seeing him. One of these days, I might have lunch with him as I when I get back there. This day and age is tough. Kenny from no, Kenny didn't go to. Uh, Kenny didn't go there. Uh, did everybody see uh, Second Street Park, the movie? Of yeah, course. Yeah, a lot it's of people. A classic. Uh, well, it was very interesting that. The whole thing went down with Lee Schleifer, and they just had a show on TV uh, about gangsters in jail. And the guy who uh, did the hit on him confessed to it that uh, they did it because they thought Lee was going to rat them out because of uh, drugs. What's his name? Throw that in. What's the guy's name? I, the gangster? Yeah. I don't remember. It was, on, it was They had a show on called Gangsters, and they were interviewing him. This is Joel Beer. If you bring up my picture, right behind me is a full-blown poster, Boys of Second Street Park. Oh. Uh, okay, I'd like to give the presentation, folks. We'll continue with the talk after. By the way, Marsha, uh, Marsha Wall saw the posting and she clicked like. I thought perhaps she might sign up for it, but she never followed up on it. Okay, football team. I don't uh, see it Dominic Morendi is on uh, Facebook a lot. He got very involved with the um, 
He was like the, the one of the founders of the policemen's football team and has traveled all over the country playing other teams. He's very involved in that. Steve Peritzman, well, Steve was a year ahead of you, now lives in New Jersey, married Joan, Joni, per Joni Becker, if you remember. I think she was your class. And uh, Steve coached um, a lot of teams ending up with South Shore High School. He's a very successful coach in uh, Staten Island. They started going out at a party at my house. <laughs> That's Which funny. was funny, and that where the police raided it. Somebody rode on King's Highway, party at my house, and like 300 people showed up. It was kind of <laughs> crazy. But anyway, that's when they started to go out in Lincoln High School at my house. Well, talking about the football team, I do believe that Larry Namer was a water boy on the team. Isn't that right, Larry? I uh -huh. pretty, pretty close to it. They didn't give me that title, but that's pretty much what I was. Guard, tackle, had and the jacket, the Larry. He sat at the end of the bench, guarded the water bucket, and tackled anybody that came near it. Hey. And I, well, Larry, right next, and I sat right next to you, Larry, so don't feel so, so bad. Somebody had to do it. Larry was a great center had, fielder, though. He was a oh, great uh, center Gargano, fielder. Gargano died about two years uh, mm -hmm. ago down in Florida. He was in a, um, he was about 82, 83, looked great. Uh, but uh, unfortunately passed away in a uh, assisted living in Florida. Paul. Yes. Uh, it says owner on my square. My name disappeared. I have no idea. Yes. Okay. I didn't do anything. I have no control over that. Okay. Well, I don't see the shared screen anymore. Yeah, oh. neither do I. Okay, hold on. I'm on Garrett. Hey, Ivy. Hi, Susan. Hi. Hi, Irish. Hi, Larry. Hey, how's it going? It's good. We just got up from the beach looking at the Pacific. We're good. Very nice. Very um, nice. Everybody's name. Iris. Yeah, I, fell. I cannot believe we know each other from PS215. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. Oh, it's crazy, right? <laughs> I love I love it. It's so, it's so I, cool. Uh, who, went, who went to 215? <laughs> I did. Ivy. Anita. Anita. Oh, there's Linda. I see oh, Linda. Linda. <laughs> the leaders. This. You see the screen now. Oh my yeah. gosh. Wow. And you see Lisa. Can you see the uh share screen? Yeah, yes. now we can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, that we had the worst because, uh, I was on the cheerleaders and we Mrs. Shapiro was like a witch. <laughs> was okay. in the uh, well, was awful. Oh, this Barry. Oh, no. Can anybody hear me? Yes. 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 Okay. It was fixed. Hi, Susan. Boosters. Oh, I didn't go on there. Oh, Susan, Susan, look at me. There's my mom. There's Enid. That's right. Over there, Bernie Friedman. Wow. Very nice. Chorus. This, this, is, this is 66, right? Jack this is I wasn't in Madrigal, but I did sight singing with them because I needed a music class. Susan, and that's the one I, I went in. Exactly the same. New York. Yeah. Ivy? Yes. Yeah. Hey, Sal. Good I remember I loved leading the chorus and I wrote lyrics mainly for Bernie Friedman, who was our showstopper performance. Mm -hmm. and the next slide, you're going to see one of the highlights of seniors is that all the lights went up. Oh, I might be there. Bernie, Bernie lived next door to me in Florida. I was there. Yeah, performance. I was in the, the chorus. Barry Roberts. Mm -hmm. Barry Roberts. Now I sang in the year, chorus. Then another. Oh, so, but that's when they were seniors now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I was in the year that the juniors oh, because were. Because we can't have this. <laughs> Please, one at a time. I sang in the big club. Another. Okay, another memory was not from Sing, but in the drama club, oh. Abraham Lass was playing the piano for an auditorium. And this is just a classic. Penny Ann, Penny Ann Tell went up to the side near the piano and said, 
alas, alas. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the classic line. And what the name? Ivy. Iris, what page are you on? You know, um, I don't know why I didn't get into the Torellis picture. But I didn't. I must have been with my boyfriend from Brooklyn College at that time. Um, but um, I'm definitely in the Madrigal of of '67. Mm -hmm. I'm there. There is this penny right on the first first so. row, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the right. She, she, right in front. Step like you're talking. In Anybody speaks a penny? Because I do. She's a mm -hmm. she's I a master. Uh, yeah, I, when we're going to Disney, we get a hold of her. Nice. Here I am. Sharon, you look great. Are we doing a, uh, a luncheon this year? I'm muting the microphones, folks. I Everybody know that they're sorry, Ivy. So here's the committee who worked hard on Sing. And I'm sorry we didn't have any kind of recording of it but it was just a classic time. And Bernie Friedman continued on in the performance as Barry Roberts. And in the third row to the left is Jeff Feinstein who played the drums for many well-known performers. And that's how he had made a living through life. And it was just great fun. Okay, Paul. Okay. Uh... I had a discussion with uh, Ivy today. I asked her if she remembered my one and only line in Sing. And uh, she told me to uh, retell it. In the beginning of the scene you sing, there was a uh, scene in which a man or a student actually dressed as an Indian uh, runs up to the stage. I was that gentleman. And my big line for Sing was, are you guys ready? You don't have to be Jewish to love senior sing. <laughs> we were uh, doing a takeoff on the uh, Rye Bread commercial. Iris, can you hear me? Are you talking to Iris Brower? Yeah. Adele? Yeah, um, I'm right there. I what play page? the piano for sing what every page? year. What page are you on in the book? Graduation book. Right there, I'm the piano player for the dance band. Okay. And There's I the played for Sing. There's I played for Sing. Yeah, I'm, I'm remembering now. It takes a little time to remember so many years ago. Piano player extraordinaire. You also did Madrigal, you also did Chorus. You should know. Exactly. I was in the dance band in 67. And I'm still doing piano. I still have my sweater. <laughs> Still, yeah, I'm still playing drums. I should show them your sweater. <laughs> Trump. I, I have a good story about Ben Goldman. Um, I was playing in a oh, concert that was my band. Boyfriend. Yeah, well, I was playing in a concert band in New Jersey, and a terrific saxophone player who traveled with Glenn Miller's band was, was, was the alto sax, lead sax in that band. And he says to me, one of my dearest friends passed, and he played the piano. He's a fabulous piano player in Florida. And I said, well, 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 who was he? And he says, Ben Mitch, Golden. Mitch. Yeah. And he said he taught music at Lincoln. And I, and I just, when, when Freddie said that to me, I just got goosebumps because I love Ben Goldman dearly because nobody better than him. Yeah, he played in Coconut Creek and led a band for a long time. My yes, father in led. Florida. Right. Yes. And that's where when Freddie knew him from, Florida. down there in Florida. Yeah, and my mom was in Sunrise and she played, she let him use the musical down in Sunrise and also played at the pool down there. Here's Boys Chorus and Iris. <laughs> boys Chorus <laughs> and Iris. She played piano. That's wow. great. I love Beautiful. the hair. <laughs> no more white shirts. This looks like the drama a workshop with Mr. Fishman. That's Mr. Fisher. Oh, yeah, I remember him. Yeah. Eating Pomerantz, Penny Antel. Yeah, I, I was in all the sings, but the when you were seniors, I was a junior. <laughs> yeah. Well, he married Bonnie, right? Stage squad. Stage squad. Hey. David Oxhand, the third from the top on the left. Mark Goodman. Goodman. 
that's uh, Robert Bromberg uh, mm -hmm. sitting in the middle of the first row. He's married to Paula Rosa, not Paula Rosa. That's correct. And uh, that's William <laughs> Green on the top left. Sid Melter, lower right, just published a book, a novel, a crime novel. Which one? Who's that? Sid Melzer, uh, sitting lower right. Oh, really? Oh, he was in my public school all the time. Wow. He, he was a little bit younger than us. Trying to go to baseball. We can win basketball. Kids, Jay. Six. six. Oh, they're still on 66. Okay. Leslie Schwartz. And soon. Baseball. I was on the team in 67. And 66. Okay, now we're going to just show a couple of pages of the... Uh, of the uh, graduates, Karen Levine, who is uh, third from the right on the top, unfortunately passed away a few years ago. I would see Karen in Florida periodically. She moved to California. Her husband, Gary Miller, uh, became a very famous writer. He wrote for HBO. He was also one of the head writers uh, for Laverne and Shirley and Cindy Williams. Go to Lincoln? Did, did Gary Miller go to Lincoln? Because I lived across the street from Gar uh, Gary Miller. Yeah, Gary was a teacher, and in his spare time, he was doing some writing. His ah. mother, connection sent the scripts to Gary uh, Gary Marshall. <laughs> Gary Marshall sent him tickets to go to California, and they never came back. Ah, interesting. Hey, Gary. I see you, Harry Engel. <laughs> it's Marsha Wall. I want to acknowledge Tina and Joe Zucker, who are both in this <laughs> and are together there now. It's Rona Weinstein. Hey, uh, Ivy Winters, you need to tell them why we're together now. It's uh, because of you. Thank you. I bumped into Tina selling all her worldly goods about to move west. And that week, Joey and I got together and I had mentioned, I just saw Tina and she's coming over. And Joe said, let me surprise her. And when she came to my house, Joey surprised her and jumped out. And that was the beginning of the romance that never ended. That's <laughs> you Thank you, Ivy. <laughs> and there's Ivy. And you're still talking to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Gratefully. I, Thank you. I contacted Pat Zimbelman today. Uh, she's in the lower right-hand corner. Unfortunately, she had knee replacement surgery, and she was not in a mood to be on Zoom tonight. Terry no, Yanishevsky, who's Larry, can you hear me? You guys, yeah. look at Joseph yeah, yeah. Zucker. Look at Joseph Zucker. Hey, Joey. Me too. I'm yeah, there too. Yeah. Does anyone know what happened to Ellen's boy, Bell? No. no. I wanted was, to find her too. Yeah, she was a smart, nice girl. Sweet girl. These photos were submitted to me this afternoon by Susan. And uh, I tried to edit them a little bit. I, Susan, I had to remove a couple. They were too blurry. I couldn't even make them out. Oh, no problem. I just quickly took them with my iPhone. I think that. Them, it was pretty last minute. Meanwhile, I'll tell you all, if you take an iPhone picture with and it's live, you could edit it and find a non-blurry picture and make that the key photo. Just to so see. So you take it live? So yeah, you take you it live take it. and then you edit it. And on I the lower left, that. there's a button and you could slide it across and find the best picture. Ah, uh, okay. Susan, where do you live? New Jersey and Florida. Oh, where in Maybe Florida? New Jersey. Ridge, Ridgewood, New Jersey, and Jupiter, Florida. Jupiter. And Ivy, you're in Florida also, aren't you? No, I'm on the Upper West Side of Manhattan. Oh, I thought you were in Florida. Nope. Ivy, you spent two summers, two winters ago there, though. Know? You're like a sprinkle. What, what's a... Uh... Actually, we got stuck there at the beginning of COVID. We rented an Airbnb 
for a month that mm -hmm. turned out to be three months. So, it would have been worse. Yeah. That's so funny. Him and, and Harry, Ronnie Lerman, remember him? Mm. I do. Sorry, guys, but the football team picture is kind of blurry, but I didn't want to omit it. Oh. Uh. Community. Cheerleaders 67. Oh, it's what's who's in right in front there? That was, uh, Rhonda Rappaport. Yeah. yeah she captain in 67. Yeah, she Rhonda's couldn't been around it. a lot. She's on the uh Facebook a lot. Uh -huh. and she was yes. at the last reunion that Larry threw. She's pretty active. Wonderful girl. Miss Shapiro. The orchestra. Where were you, Seth? I wasn't in the orchestra. Oh. I was in the symphony. Drama. Fishman. Mr. Fishman, there are no small parts. There are no small parts. There are just small actors. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Fishman's ex wife lives in my Florida community. Wow. Where are um, you, did Paul? Bonnie um, yes. last yes. game. Yes, Bonnie Wolf. Paul, Bonnie where are you in Florida? Yeah. I mean, she was 25 years younger than him, right? She was at least 20, 25 years younger than him. So, well, she was his. She was Cindy Dick. She was, oh, yeah, she was in everything, yeah. Cindy Dick. Yeah. yeah. She was at it for years. Oh, I'm friends with Cindy Dick. She's an amazing cook. She posts recipes. She calls it Cindy's Cafe every night. Oh my gosh. Oh, you probably are in the, weren't you in the Music Honor Society? Are you, uh, you're not mm, up there someplace? No, no. <laughs> Wasn't yet. There. Wasn't in the Honor Society. <laughs> uh, yes, I was. Booster 67. This is 67, these pictures? Yes, this is the 67 yearbook. You don't have 65, huh? Not this year. Andrew, who did that? That was Mrs. Mr. Ratner did that. Oh, no. Uh, no his Mrs. wife. Uh, I'm second for Mrs. Eisen. Mrs. Eisen. Mrs. Eisen. Mrs. Eisen. Geo. Yeah, the Geo guy. 65 one, if somebody needs pictures from 65. That's a band. Oh, no. no I can't see Mr. It. Goldman was in charge of the twirlers. He was. He's wow. He didn't like doing the football games. <laughs> he didn't like being cold. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's what he did. Everybody oh, looks guys. kind of fat in these pictures. <laughs> Holy, oh, the pool. What was the teacher's name? Oh, she never went in the water. Striker. 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 Yeah, she never went Striker. in the water, and they the mid the leaders used to. Teach. Oh, I'm oh, there. You are. I'm right there. Yeah. Next, I'm yeah. next to the Tiffany. Yeah. All my plastics. We had started dating I when uh, I was 16 years old, and I had, everybody said, "Oh, that you are the drummer's girlfriend." <laughs> <laughs> and so married 50 years. So yeah. in 1964, the men, the Bill boys, had to swim naked. Did do you? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. We had to swim naked, and I thought there was something wrong with that teacher. <laughs> I thought he was weird. He used to check everybody, right? Yeah, I remember the line up against the wall. Oh. Before, after, before after the water. That, that is <laughs> sick. I never knew that. He told me. Oh, up the downstairs. I was, uh, oh, they did it in junior high. I was in the monitor, like, in the hallway. I went to Mark Twain. Wow. Honor Society. So if you went to Mark Twain, do you know the secret to the Hubba Hubba ha Hamburger? To the what? Hubba Hubba Hamburger. I Hubba Hubba Hamburger? Hamburger? No, I never heard that. <laughs> Here you are. No, I, I missed that picture. No. <laughs> but, uh, I have a series of photos from California reunion. Uh, Larry Namer and Ivy, Ivy send me some of these pictures. Larry, you still with us? Yeah, I'm still here. Do me a favor, as I go through them, tell us a little bit about them. Sure. Um, we did um, 
we we did a thing in uh, LA at my LA house where um, we had theme nights. We did a Nathan's night. We did a China Chinese Jewish Chinese food night. <laughs> and then we did a um, Italian food night and stuff. And it was interesting. We had about fifty people show up. Um, really, how many people? Yeah, come? and um, oh. we actually had um, uh, one of one of the people we graduated with. Um, her husband was actually on the board of Nathan's. So um, when I told him what we were doing, he sent me boxes and boxes of hot dogs and rolls and all that kind of stuff. So that was kind of fun. In this picture, let's see, we got uh, all the way on the right is Stan Rogo from 66. So and that's Ronnie Flam, not Stan Rogo. That's Ronald Flam. Oh, Ronnie Flam, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, Susan Brill. Um, I mean, who else? I don't know who that is. The next one. Yeah, I'm not sure. And then and me. Her, her, and her I, son. Mm -hmm. Like her son. Um, Barbara her son? Felsinger, Susan Brill. There's Stan Rogo. There's Ivy. There's Flam. And that's Carol Corwin. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. It was so much fun. Larry, is that Paris from, from Manhattan Beach? Uh, is that who? Oh no, Robin Paris was. No, uh, no, no. That's uh, Felsinger from Manhattan Beach. Felsinger. He wasn't Manhattan Beach. She lived right outside of Beach Haven. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, was, you're was right. Was her brother Steve Felsinger? I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, you might know. Stan, Stan Felsinger. Stan he, Felsinger. He played for the Maccabees. He, he was a basketball player. Yeah. This is I, Carol Cantor who is 60, in the class of 67, and that's whose husband is on the board of Nathan's with our dear old Larry Namer. There I am. One of my neighbors here in my New Jersey home is uh, one of the original hand workers, uh, Nathan's nephew, who had right yes. next to Nathan's in Coney Island, across the alley, there used to be a store that said famous yeah. ice cream and corn on the cob. Well, he's my neighbor. Great. Is that exciting? And Ronnie Pollinger couldn't be there, but she sent Larry that Brooklyn t-shirt he was wearing. Yep. <laughs> There's Ivy and Susan Brill. Yeah. Me and um, Roy Schwartz. Roy was in Lincoln uh, through his um, sophomore year, grew up in Brighton, and then his family moved him to California. But he was um, actually out close to us, so he came. You know, I never realized he wasn't uh, graduated with us. I remember Roy. Well, no, he, le he left after the sophomore year. Wow. Yay. Tina, yeah. was Tina Datz, now Zucker, Stan Rogo, and Mitch Milner. Yeah, Rogo. Mitch Milner. Yeah. All right, in the very front, Joey Pistoia, who was the same year as Marty, also from uh, Stan Rogo, Andrew Birdie, Mitch Milner, Alfred Jr. Smith, Flam, and then me. Yeah. I think Al Smith was on the track team with me. He was unfortunately, unfortunately, he died a few years ago. Yeah. Just a little blurry. This is me and Hilda, what was her last name? Liz. Hilda Liss and yeah. Tina, that's Zucker. Nikki Birdie, which was Nikki Coletti in the class of 67. Andrew, Andrew Birdie. Birdie. Um, Irene Geller, who's Irene Yeager and her husband, Alan Yeager. Now this is Alan Yeager. We had an Alan Yeager in 216, but he's a different Alan Yeager. Carol Cantor, behind her is my husband, Marvin Mansky, and then Carol's husband in the red vest. Right, and he was the guy that was on the board, still on the board of Nathan, so he was the one who sent us all the stuff. And it, we should say, Larry Namer owns the rights to the steeplechase um, face, till you. The George C. Till you thing, they never bothered to copyright, so I grabbed it. Whoa. Good for you. <laughs> this is Barbara Felsinger. She lives in California. Alan Landis and Bobby Jacobs. 
Alan Landis, Ivy, uh, Roy Schwartz, and Lois Hirsch. Ronnie Flam and Elliot Laurie. Yeah, that's Elliot. One hit wonder. Um, Brandy? Brandy, Brandy. yeah. <laughs> Looking Glass. Yeah, I get the swing. Oh, wow. We saw that one already. Yeah. Andrew Birdie and Joseph. Er and I think Lois, this is going to be our last one, maybe. Lois Hirsch, Susan Brill. Oh, this was Rebuffo. We had Linda Rebuffo in our class. This is her sister, Diane Rebuffo, who is three years older and used to be an incredible ballet dancer. Um, let's see in the back, I see Robert, uh, Bob Jacobs, Larry Namer. There's me in the front, Marvin, my husband in the back, Alan Landis in the back, Stan Rogo, Nikki Coletti Birdie. And is that Michael Fandel? Yes. Michael oh. Fandel. Yeah, 67. Oh, Jesus. I'm only missing one person. Yeah. Who's behind Bobby Jacobs? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Oh, no. Anyway, that's a good show. Good work, Paul. Thank you. Okay. Did uh, anybody retire to North Carolina? I don't think so. <laughs> I love Asheville. North Carolina is great. How about know. San Diego area? Anybody out here? I, I'm actually in San Diego area now. I'm at an Indian reservation uh, near Alpine, which is kind of east of San Diego. Well, we're here we're waiting for you to visit, Larry, anytime. <clears throat> we're in Rhode Island. Yeah, in North Kingstown, <laughs> Rhode Island, <laughs> near Newport. So you guys went colder than New York. <laughs> well, the grandkids were up here. Yeah, all well, ah. four of them. <laughs> Too there summer. gotta be some reason. Oh, <laughs> did you ever talk to Dave Newmark? Forty. <laughs> it's nice here. Come visit. No one come. We haven't seen people in the last two years. Nobody wants to come from New York and New Jersey. <laughs> Is anybody with us from the '67 baseball team? Anybody? Which beat Lafayette twice. <laughs> Sal was big on the band and the baseball. I majored in baseball and music. And me. <laughs> I dreamed about playing for the Dodgers, but that was as far as it went. Well, I got invited to a trial with the Minnesota Twins. Yeah, in 19... And I decided I better do something else. In 1960. I, I don't know if anybody heard me before, but Larry, remember playing for the Coneys? I certainly do. How could I you, forget? You were a great center fielder. I loved playing with you. I could catch, but couldn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> One out of two was in bed. Everybody has talents. <laughs> now, we had a very good team. It was a, we just ran into a, a kid uh, at um, Fort Hamilton High School. He drew a no-hitter against us. And if we had beat him that day, we would have gone to play in, in the playoffs, you know, with other, other boroughs. But... This kid was terrific, and I heard he signed with the Yankees. His name was uh, Craig Fellows. Wow. But he no-hit us that day, and we lost one nothing <laughs> on a walk, a stolen base, well, like a it? sacrifice fly. Yeah. You know, really, I mean, I one of those games. Yeah. Because, yeah, Darren. Darren. This is noted. Hey, Larry. Darren. Yeah, I hear you. Did you ever have any contact with Dave Newmark? How do I get it back? Yeah. Uh, every once in a while, I've traded emails with him. Uh, he's up, I believe, in the Bay Area or something. Yeah. How do I, I get thought it maybe back? he would have come to your party. Uh, sure no, that. no, he hasn't. Um, he, he hasn't come down this way. Hey, brother, brother, brother. I live in Mill Valley, California. California, which is about 10 miles north of San Francisco. David lives across the bay. Until about five years ago, he used to come and play chess in the local center. And then he got a terrible, terrible, terrible fracture. The mutant. Yeah. How do I get back on? Oh, you're muted. You're muted. 
<laughs> Say it louder so we can hear you. Karen. You muted. Yeah, I go like this. <laughs> I said, this is Joel Bureau. I live in Mill Valley, California, just north of San Francisco. I used to see David who would come and sit in a local square and play chess. Um, he got a very, very bad leg injury. He was needed a caretaker and I haven't seen him in a few years. He used to come to my office and drop by and him for a while. Don't look at me. He's been on uh, the internet Karen, on Facebook. Darren, could you tell us a little bit about the uh, situation with the South Florida reunion that was planned for this coming winter? Sure. Um, we have decided to postpone it because of uh, the Delta variant that's running rampant in Florida. And we don't, since we're all about the same age, we don't want, and even though we, I would require proof of vaccination, you never know. Or, or if I ask and people say yes, there's no guarantee. So we decided uh, we're going to postpone it till next year. Um, I've been trying to get a hold of the guy at the uh, Marriott and Coral Springs where we're going to hold it and just switch, push everything till uh, President's Week 2023. And as soon as we know, we'll let everyone else know. I think that was a good idea based on the numbers in South Florida. Oh, yeah. We'd rather be safe than be sorry. Uh, my husband and I just had our third shot yesterday, and we feel very good about it. You know, the, you, you got to give special praise to people like Sharon and also Larry for putting things together for uh, us old timers, you know. It really keeps the heart going, and it's a wonderful thing. Uh, I try to get together with people also that, uh, you know, like Roberts is right over in my next door to me and um, Steve, oh, I forgot his name. I have a That's senior moment. That's why he doesn't want to get together with you. <laughs> huh? That's why he doesn't want to get together with you. <laughs> anyway, uh, it, these people deserve a lot of praise for what they do. I acknowledge Paul for putting this together tonight. Thank you. Yeah, Thank this you, is Paul. great. Paul, you did a great job. Uh, it was a labor of love. I love doing this kind of things. These yeah, kind of things. No, fun. Really good. Uh, would anybody like to add anything? Any announcements? Any any discussion that you'd like to bring? By the sure. way, I'm, I'm, I'm planning for our next one uh, for our 75th reunion. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah, we're doing actually April 24th of next year. I mean, unless we need to change it. Uh, we're actually doing a 65 to 68 reunion. Um, and it's going to be at Gargiulo's in Coney Island. Um, so we could actually find baked clams and other food that we might recognize. And um, we've got about 50, almost 60 people so far that have signed up. And, you know, unless the COVID thing gets worse, we're going to have a fun reunion in, um, in April. Larry, next time you do a reunion, a little later, we st the snowbirds are still in, still in Florida in April. Yeah, well, you know, this, I, you know, the, the people, it's myself and Ivy, uh, Iris Flick and uh, Rhonda Rappaport um, and David Louie, we've really been the ones uh, working on it. And quite honestly, Unfortunately, you can't make everybody happy, Marty. Everybody's got to, you know. I miss on that. No, what is it? The first Sunday in May, Lincoln is open for a reunion yeah. for anybody who wants to show up or they have some kind of reunion there. I've been there before. Yeah. In case anybody yeah. doesn't know that. And from what we hear, they're actually not going to do it this year. They're oh, going to cancel. Year, really so, awesome. you know, yeah. Like I say, there, there's no perfect time. I had to pick a date. And so far, you know, it looks like it's holding up. Yeah, so we cleared Passover, and we cleared Jewish holidays, so we thought that would be the best. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. Okay. And that's it. I'm out in LA, and it's interesting, you know, Ivy and I go back to, what, seventh grade, Ivy? Yeah. Something like that, but um, by total um, coincidence, um, I, I ended up, you know, from 
from Mark Twain to Lincoln to uh, ending up in Hollywood, joining Stan Rogo, who was one of the major producers for Disney and Disney Channel. Elliot Lurie, besides being the one hit wonder, uh, was the head of music at Fox for 10 years, was in charge of all Fox music for film and television. So it's interesting how a bunch of kids that were in, you know, seventh grade through Lincoln together end up in Hollywood, you know, and have done um, reasonably well. I told yesterday we had the cable guy come fix something on my cable, and I told the story about you to give him hope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <his> hope. <laughs> Steve Rogo from the football team? Stan Rogo, yeah, from the football yeah. team. He's doing what? Stan was one of the leading producers for Disney, Disney Channel. Wow, I never knew that. Good yeah. for him. And there was a very famous show, um, popular mainly with you know young girls called Lizzie McGuire, um, back a while, and that ran about 10 years, and Stan was the exec producer of Lizzie McGuire. Wow. What about the guy who wrote Second Street Park? Where did he go to school? Um, that was Dan Cloris. Right, uh, Dan, cool. um, Dan started a big PR company, and I actually have been using Dan's PR company for years and years in my stuff. Um, he sold the PR company to a big ad agency and then became a um, documentary filmmaker, and he's great at it. Second Did Street he play Park. basketball at Manhattan Beach? No, he was the um, ball boy for the Lincoln team. You know, it's a funny Class thing. Class of 67, Lincoln. He played his ball at Second Street Park, which is yeah. why the movie was well, made in. The thing was that uh, there's a reunion every December. And, well, it started in this place called Poppy's in, uh, right by me in Del Rey, where a few coaches and players got together and were having breakfast. And before you know it, 10, 20, 30 guys started showing up. And they said, you know, we should put something together. Well, now in December at the Polo Club, once a year, they have a reunion of coaches and players from all of, well, mostly New York, uh, that get together. They have 400 people now. Show, they sell out every year. Uh, a lot of people from Lincoln, I, get, I know Steve Carmio was there. Uh, and if not that, they have other people that, other famous names of people that show up to, to play there. And so I was there and Cloris was there giving a speech or whatever. And I walked up to him to say, hey, uh, I don't know if you remember me. And as I'm walking up, he grabs me and goes, Marty also from, what are you doing here? This yeah. guy was a legend. I was so proud that he remembered me. It was like amazing. Marty, yeah, you know Gil Freshman? What? You know Gil Freshman? I think he was the coach of Lafayette. He was there. Gil's there every year he lives at that in reunion. He lives yeah. in Lake Shores, my community in Florida. Where's your, what's your, yeah, and what, and your Isles? No, Valencia Shores. Shores. Valencia Shores, oh my, I play tennis there all the time. He was out on his bicycle every day. Yes, I know, I see it. I'll look you up when I come over there, Paul. You, now you're mad at me? Don't mind, do you? You're mad at me? I just got upset because you knew me. See, you might, I didn't, you know, it was ridiculous. Somebody should mute him. I did. <laughs> <laughs> So, well, folks, maybe I should be the one to say it's been wonderful. We should do this once a year. At least. And uh, everybody should be healthy. Some of us are wealthy and some of us are wise. So, if we're on this thing now, I think we've been pretty wise. So, I'm going to say good luck and goodbye to everybody. And once Iris. Again, thank you for putting this together. Great seeing you. Yes, it's been great. Pam, now that I know you know you know Zoom, we can do Zoom just you and I. <laughs> thanks to uh, Ivy, thanks to Larry, thanks to Susan for sharing their photos with me, and Ivy for reaching out to some of the people whose uh, contact information I did not have. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank, thank you so much, Sam. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for well. contacting me about this.